Hey guys, I'm really excited about today because we're answering a really big question. And if I'm going to be honest, today's question actually, it's pretty hard to answer. Several of you wanted to know and you asked how God was made. And to be honest, that's a big question. But to help us understand a little bit better, we have a guest who has a few questions of his own. But before we get to that, I want to show you what this marker board right here is for. I thought it would be kind of fun if I would draw you a picture. Now, here's the thing about Mr. Jesse is I'm not the best artist. So I have this grid here that kind of helps me. Uh, sometimes they tell you to draw a grid on your piece of paper. Helps you while you're drawing a, uh, drawing a picture. So I'm going to draw a big circle first. And this, we're going to, it's not too circular, sorry. Like I said, I'm still learning. So we're going to make a big circle. I'm going to make a face. I want to draw a face for you. And of course, we need a nose. Uh, and so my nose is pretty big, so we're going to start here in the middle. You kind of use the grid to help me, and then go big like that. And then the circles for the eyes, I'm going to make real big, because I like the big eyes. And then one of the things you kind of want to do is you really want to color in and really press hard to get that dark black look you have on your pupils. And then right here, I love a big smile, so we want to make the, the smile nice and wide first. And then we can go in and add some things. Um, you can add hair at the top, and you can do all kinds of other fun stuff. But, you know, the thing that I like about this is, Sorry, sounds kind of weird, but I, I thought I heard someone, the, the eyes, yes, the eyes, uh, they, they look, they look in fact, they tell you when you're good at, at art, it'll actually look like the eyes follow you around the room. The Mona Lisa did that, I think. I'm not calling this the Mona Lisa by any stretch of the imagination. It's just an optical, optical illusion. Uh, I'm sorry? Are you saying they're actually moving? Are you moving? Yep. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my goodness. That's ah. crazy. Okay, wait, wait, why are you screaming? Well, I don't know. It just seemed like that's something I should do. Oh, okay. Well, I have to admit I was a little surprised when you started talking, but uh, you must be our special guest today. I heard his name was Mark. Is that your name? Yep, Mark's the name. Wait, okay. how did I get here? How'd you get here? Well, um, to be honest, I just drew you. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Hey, could you give me a mustache? Uh, yeah, I could give you a mustache. How's that? That's pretty cool. Wow. Hey, can I, can I give you a beard? How's that? Wow. I look pretty classy, don't I? You do look classy, Mark. Wow. Hey, where did, where did you get your mustache and your beard? Who drew yours? What? My, yeah, who I, drew your mustache? Well, I just... I just grew my mustache. It's not much of a mustache, but I grew it. Uh, you, you grew it? Yeah. All by yourself? Yeah. Is that but weird? That's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, Mark, here's the thing. Nobody, nobody drew me. I, I mean, my birthday is in February. Birthday? What, what's a birthday? Well, a uh, birthday is just the day I was born. Whoa, that's crazy. So is that the day you got your frame? My frame? Yeah, like I have this nice silver frame. I go all the way to the left, and it's there. I go all the way to the right, and it's there. It's at the top, at the bottom. You know, my frame. Where's your frame? Well, Mark, I'm, I'm not a drawing. I'm a person. I don't, I don't have a frame. What? How could you just not have a frame? Well, I, people don't have frames. They just don't, Mark. I'm not flat like you are. I'm a three-dimensional person. I've got a front, I've got a back, I've got a side, I'm, I'm three-dimensional. So are the kids that are watching. Whoa, whoa. I think my brain is exploding. Hey, you know what? Actually, I might be able to help you with that here. Whoa. <laughs> uh, how's this? Make it look like the emoji that you see on your phone. How's that, Mark? Well, that's better. I mean, it's just really hard for me to understand what you're talking about. Well, Mark, I mean, that's the kind of the point that we wanted to make today. I want to take you to a verse in the Bible that will kind of help, okay? So we're going to have it come up on the screen. But we got a question we were trying to answer today, and the question was, how was God made? And to help the kids understand how hard it is to answer that question or even really understand uh, what it means, we thought it'd be good for you to ask some questions for us. Me? Little old me? Yeah. You mean because I'm just so good looking? 
Um, <laughs> I guess, really, it's more because all the questions that you were asking, these kids understand that those are kind of silly questions to ask a person. Pictures and paintings have frames, but all the kids understand that they weren't born with a frame. They're not a picture. Uh, they, they, they don't, nobody drew them. Wow, well, why don't they ask the person who drew them to give them a no, frame? Mark, that's the thing. The, the other thing the kids understand is nobody drew these kids. They were born. They have moms and dads and birthdays. Wow, that's, that's amazing. I know, it, it is amazing, but here's the thing. Um, it, it might be kind of hard for you to understand. Yeah, it's, I mean, I don't understand what a birthday would be like. Well, that's my point. See, we wanted these kids to imagine what it would be like if a painting or a drawing could talk. And the questions that it would ask, like Mark asked me, would be really hard for me to answer and hard for you to understand, right? Right. Why is that? Well, because, I mean, the question, how was God made, it's kind of hard to explain because the Bible tells us, in fact, a few weeks ago, we actually looked at this on Noah's window. We talked about it, but God doesn't have a beginning. In fact, the Bible says he's the alpha, that means beginning, and the omega, and that means end. God doesn't have a beginning or an end. He just always has been. Wow, my brain really hurts. Or maybe I should say, my marker lines hurt. <laughs> well, you could, you could say that, Mark, but the point is every kid everywhere and every adult everywhere has a beginning. We all do. All of us have a point at which we started. It's kind of like you and your frame. Just like it was really hard for you to imagine how somebody could walk around without a frame, it's really hard for us to understand how God has always been because every person watching had a point in time when they started. But that's not the case with God. God has just always been. He's the beginning and the end. Wow. So I bet your mind is blown now too. It is. Exactly. Yes, my mind is blown. It's the same way when you ask me who drew me. I'm not a drawing, but I, I don't have someone who used a marker to make me and color in my hair. No, but these kids do have a creator. And just like it was hard for you to understand someone not having been drawn, it's really hard for me to understand or imagine a God that didn't have to have a creator. He just was. No one made God. God is just God. You know, doesn't it seem like you, you haven't answered very many questions. It just kind of <laughs> seems like you're bringing up more. Yes, that's true. That is true. I, I want to take these kids to a verse, okay? We're going to have it come up with a screen, and then we're going to cover our bottom line, okay? Yeah. Now, uh, here's a verse. There's a lot of really great verses in the Bible that talk about how big God is, talk about how you know he, he's always been, no one's ever been beside him, uh, he's been around since the beginning, but I want to take these kids to a verse, two verses actually, in Isaiah, okay? God is speaking to the prophet Isaiah, and he says this, my thoughts are not like your thoughts, and your ways are not like my ways. The, the heavens are higher than the earth, and my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. What God is telling the prophet Isaiah is our bottom line for today, and that is God is bigger than I can understand, and that's what makes God God. If we could explain every question, if Mr. Jesse could answer all the questions about God, well, he wouldn't be big enough for us to trust him completely. He wouldn't be God. Wow, so you're saying that we shouldn't ask questions? No, no, of course we can. If God is bigger than we can, if, than we can even understand, he's not going to be scared by our questions. I mean, it's okay to ask him questions. It's just we, not, we might not be able to answer all of them. And that's okay. It's okay. In fact, today we want to hear from the kids. What's hard for you to understand about God? As they think about their answer to that, we're going to check in with the professor for a fun experiment. How's that sound? Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay. Hey, have you seen my brother Art around? Your brother Art? No, I haven't. Yeah, he's a painting. Yeah, I think he might be hanging on the wall. Oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> I hope you're feeling very groovy. Groovy. <laughs> because today we're going to make a lava lamp. Oh, hey, Professor, I want to wear the sunglasses. You, you, you want to wear my sunglasses? Oh, so I want to be groovy. Okay, you can be groovy. Give it a try, uh, Freddy. Uh, oh, Freddy. They wow. don't stay on very well. Your ears aren't big oh, enough. Yeah. Wow. I have some big eyes. <laughs> All right, that's okay. You, you can still do the lava lamp, and all this stuff you probably will have at home because sure. we have a couple options in case. Oh, that's good. Okay, so okay. one of the things you need is vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. And then one other thing you could use with water, yeah. 
And food coloring? Uh, or food coloring. And alka salsa. And alka salsa. But I'm afraid you may not have alka salsa, so we have uh, a substitute. Professor, what's alka salsa? It's for if your tummy's upset. Uh. But I'm sure you guys never get upset tummy, so it's okay. If you want, you could use vinegar instead and baking soda. Okay. So the way it works is you will put uh, some baking soda in the bottom of one of your glasses. Just make sure you have enough. All right. Okay. Then you will add uh, all the way, almost all the way up with uh, vegetable oil. Vegetable you, oil. You just pour it on top like this. Okay. You just pour it on. This is right. Just you a little bit or a lot? Oh, a whole lot, Oh, buddy. a whole lot. It okay. takes a lot of vegetable oil to make a lava lamp. What? Oh, this is fun. You know what else you can make with vegetable oil? A what? Vegetables? No, you can make cake. Oh. Wait, and what? brownies. You make cake with vegetable oil? Yeah, okay, that's step two. Now, here comes one of my favorite parts. You will take some vinegar, and you will add it into glass like this. Okay. It doesn't take a whole lot. Okay, just a little bit. And then, Freddy, guess what you do next? A what? You're going to add the food coloring. Or food coloring. Which color would you like to use? Uh, let's do yellow. Yellow? I'm just kidding. We're doing green. Oh, Freddy, you scared me. Okay, we'll do green. Okay. So you're going to add a few drops of green food okay. coloring to, to the vinegar, All and right. then... Make sure your your spoon is clean. Don't lick it. And clean then spoon. You, you stir in your food coloring. It looks like we're doing a science experiment. But we are doing a science experiment. Okay, now you're gonna add the food coloring with the vinegar on top of the oil and watch it. It'll go all the way to the bottom. It'll be fine. Just pour it in. Just pour it in. So what? You know why we're doing this experiment? Ah, uh, I wonder. This is what's gonna happen. What well, we're gonna? This is gonna be a representation of God when we ask Him questions. Okay. Oh, wow. Watch what happens. You see, God is like the oil, and He is on top. He's His ways are higher than our ways. Okay. And see, we are like the bubbles in the bottom. Yeah. And we are asking questions, and they are going up to God. Oh, and yeah. oh, but the oil is not moving. Oh, it's moving all right. Look at that. Do you see it bubbling and stirring? Yeah, that's right. When you ask God questions, he's not afraid to answer your questions. Huh? His ways are higher than ours. Very cool. I think that's a lot of fun. So here's the guy. Here's the deal, guys. I want you guys to try this experiment at home and show me how it works for you. Oh, yeah. Hey, can you use multiple colors to make it even more colorful? Um, it would, you could try it. Why don't you try that oh, and let cool. me know how it goes? Oh, In the meantime, just know that you can trust God because he knows more than we do. Oh, yeah. He's way bigger than we are. <laughs> and I'm glad for that. Bye, guys! I will see you later! That's really cool. It's bubbling like a lot. Thanks for tuning in today to Noah's Window. We've enjoyed answering your questions this week, and we're so glad to know that God has always been and always will be. It's hard for us to understand, but it's comforting to know that God is bigger than I can understand. That's one of the things that makes it possible to trust God no matter what. Today, we want to hear from you and give you a chance to voice more questions you might have, because it's always a good thing to speak those things out. What's hard for you to understand about God? You know the amazing thing? I bet your parents have things that are hard for them to understand too. Talking about them together though is a great way to remind each other that he is a very big God who we can trust no matter what. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow on Noah's Window.